Damn it! Plug her back in, Peter. No. Stop. Please. If your systems shut down, we can power them through the ship. It won't do anything. Stop being so stubborn. It can help keep you alive. I don't like... being tethered. No. I'm past that point. God damn it, Quill. He's trying to help, Nebula. We can't do anything on our own. I'll get Rocket. There's no use. We can't be put back together. This time. Honestly, it feels good to have parts of me. Just fair. Wish I could have done this whenever I wanted. Thank you. For helping us back there. You risked yourself for all of us. And look where it got me. At least, Gamora's okay. It was my idea to put all this in my body. I told everyone it was so I could be better. Why did you really do it? To be more like her. I looked up to her. I was terrible to her. I nearly killed her. I... Loved her. You should tell her exactly how you feel. You have no idea how happy that would make her. You think so? I can't. I can't. Not after everything that happened. It's too late for Gamora and me. I'm a living reminder of her. Time with Thanos. Until that last, that last piece of it was gone, <laughs> things will be better soon <laughs> for everyone. <laughs> just... Look, this might sound corny, but it's never too late to make things right. You can always make a change. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Peter, for listening to us. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'll tell her what you said. I've been afraid of how she might react for so long, but I'm already dying. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Hey. Hey. Do, uh, do you want me to... I don't know people uh, trying to fix me. I, uh, yeah, I get that. There's something I need to tell you, sister. What is it? I...
I can sense your despair, Peter. Everyone's really. Is Nebula still? I don't mean to pile it on, but I got some bad news too. Our engines got thrashed when we were swallowed. Can we still fly this thing? Not a friggin' chance. Okay. Let's get back to work. I just want to focus on. You did everything you could for her. I should have done it sooner. Nebula was the fiercest. Most sinister opponent I have faced in battle. What I liked most about Neb was how much she hated Pete. Like in a deep, unrelenting way. Funny girl. I am Groot. Oh yeah. And she really seemed to care about you, Gamora. You should value the connection you two shared. To be alone is a worse fate. Speaking of worse fates, we gotta figure a way out of here before we end up like those poor bastards. Those poor bastards. Exactly! Huh? What? Look at all those ships. There has to be some parts we can salvage out there. You forget about that internal ocean of stomach acid. You can't just take a little swim. Then get me flying again. I'll see what I can do. I mean, I sure ain't dumb enough to go out there. some engines. That'll do. Listen, I've been running the numbers. We gotta drop weight in order to take off. Drop weight? How exactly do we do that? Yeah, take everything that ain't bolted down and give it the old Chucky Chuck. The lighter we are, the longer we float. The easier it'll be to get airborne. <laughs> this place is a flying trash can anyway, so... Hey, speak for your own stuff. I got some nice things. Guns can be nice. Ah! Oh, please don't tell me the answer. Round two. As long as I don't overwork the jets, I should be able to avoid the acid. I hope.
rocket. Any ideas on how to move these engines? My boots won't be able to. It's an engine, Pete. Just turn it on. Oh, good. A giant red button. This always ends well. Had to put in some elbow grease. It sounds gross now that I think about it. Careful, Quill. Hey, I'm doing my best out here. I'm inside an upset stomach. Yes, Drax? I think we should dispose of Neb... No, Drax, she stays with us. But it hardly makes anything. No, Drax! Nah. No engines here. This whole stomach is lined with thorium crystals. Like the acid wasn't bad enough already. There's a rhythm to it. What's up, Gamora? Groot never cleaned up his disgusting mess in the bathroom, and he refuses to do it. Maybe Rocket can talk some sense into him? I'll see what I can do. Hey, Rocket, make sure that Groot cleans out the bathroom. Huh, Groot did puke up half his guts after the bar. Should save us some weight to get that barf out of there, fun. You know, I'm flying over deadly stomach acid, yet somehow you're the one that grossed me out. Jeez. Life is gross. Cyborg parts. No. Nothing. Empty, of course. Hey, Rocket. Kinda busy, Pete. What's up? Would a piece of thorium work as starship fuel? I suppose so. In a sense, all fuel is just explosion, so... Yeah, it'll explode. Why are you asking? Oh, no reason. Just... <laughs> just curious. Don't mind if I do.
this doesn't work out. Oof. What a way to go. to warn you that I'm throwing away that orange ball you gave me as a token of your affection. The basketball? It hardly weighs a thing. Everything has to go, Peter. And also, Drax stabbed it. Oh, man! Lives depend on it. Get off my back. There's no friggin' way in hell I'm getting rid of this. I'm sacrificing all my extra knives and swords. How many swords do you have? Meanwhile, Rocket won't give up one of his guns. Yeah, but check it out. Not now, not ever. I built this thing with my own two paws. Just please, focus on your own things. We have to get as light as possible, so it's time for some hard choices. They don't understand. Possessions are meaningless. All that matters is the trail of blood we leave after slaughtering those who have wronged us. Oh, that's some image. After our shared experience, Quill, I discarded everything. Even the things that reminded me of my beloved Kamaria and Hovat. I'm proud that you found the strength to do that, man. Well, they were not heavy things. It was easy. Well, <laughs> thanks for listening to me. At least someone does. You see that, everyone? Drax went and threw everything away. You should follow his example. Why? Shouldn't our leader set the example? You hear that, Groot? I guess Drax is our leader now. I am leader? Your room is still full of keepsakes, Peter. Since I'm the leader now, I request that you all kneel before me. No, no, just, just stop. Let me show you how it's all done, okay? I'm gonna go back to my room and sacrifice the crap out of some personal stuff. Oh man, where 
to start. Throwing away their belongings is certainly upsetting the others. What is it about these things? Why do they hold so much emotional weight? Why does your loyalty to things outweigh your devotion to others? These things aren't just things. They define us. <laughs> I'm a long way from home. These are the last reminders I have of who I am. They're you! Of course! Hello, Peter! I will think about this more. There is much I can learn from you, it seems. One thing I learned about the Guardians is nobody ever makes sense. All right. Let's get started. Oh, man. This one's pretty emotional for me. My first hunt back on Rayjack. <laughs> I remember it like yesterday. Finished first place for taking down a massive... I sense a lie. Last place. This was a trophy just for participating. Screw the pity prize. Yondu gave me this. Not sure how he'd feel knowing I dumped it. This Yondu has a strange way of showing affection. He has a lot of strange ways. Trash. A photo of me and Mom. You should keep that. It weighs little in your hand, but much in your mind. No, I'm keeping this. Besides, it doesn't weigh a thing. All right. Let's see what we got over here. <laughs> My emergency stash of Centauri spirits. They help me to... Act like a fool? No. Relax. They help me to relax. Nah. Need to keep my wits about me. It's my weight set. Just in case you were wondering where this incredibly muscular bod comes from. I wasn't. Take one last look at this bod, because after today, we're taking the fast train to Tubbsville. My toy ray gun from Earth. I used to bring this with me everywhere as a kid. I mean, the galaxy is a dangerous place. Well, the dream of a Guardians baseball team dies today. I've never owned anything before, but I wish I had something to throw away to help the team. Even though you said these things are who you are. Here. You can start your own collection of odds and ends. That you'll be forced to throw away in order to escape a giant alien worm. Thank you, Peter. This is the best... Baseball glove. The best baseball glove I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs>